I am truly delighted to be here, especially in the midst of this wonderful family. Um, let me first start by thanking the organizers of this event, those of you who really brought all of us here. You have done a wonderful job, and I would really like to thank you. I would also like to thank Cabernet's family. I know a little bit how much the unbelievable sacrifice bill. This young man over here, Braden, he is younger than our son. We have a photo. He and our son, I think it was about the age of three, and it is in our living room. Every day we see his picture. <laughs> <laughs> However, when I, we came in this afternoon, uh, this evening, and I, I, I recognize, immediately recognized Molly, his uh, gorgeous wife, because I have seen her countless times. Every time I visit Bonnie's uh, Facebook page, there is a wonderful wedding there. <laughs> but I could not recognize this young man who is younger than my son. <laughs> And, and I am truly, truly delighted and Bill for all the sacrifice your father, everyone has really done. The reason I am thanking you is really for your unbelievable support, supporting her with passion so that she follows her passion. Very few people could really make this kind of sacrifice and thank you. Uh, I would also like to thank those of you who came from so many cities in the United States. I see so many friends from Canada, all the way driving from Canada, some flying, and there are so many people from everywhere, and thank you really for coming, celebrating, uh, Bonnie is celebrating our culture, and thank you for doing that. I cannot follow what Bill said, what Lube said. Um, let me just focus what I want to share with you on Bonnie's contribution to the development of Oromo Studies Association.